August Alsina, who confirms Jada Pinkett Smith's romance, and he says it wasn't an affair. And um, Twitter has been blowing up <laughs> mm. since last night. Uh, it's interesting to see the conversation starting from all this. What I do not now understand is, okay, so people are saying that Jada and um, Will Smith are in an open relationship. Mm. Um, I don't have a problem with open relationships. I think mm. I've, we've talked about this on this table over mm. and over again. Um, but the question now is, what are the ground rules for their open relationship? Mm. And does August um, have the... Sexual relations, for Not one. even just sexual relations. Does he have the right to talk about... Um, this relationship he had with Jada in an interview. Mm. I mean, I don't know how their mix is working. Yeah, I think the, com the what really drew me to to it is the sexual part for me because there's different ways to be open. You can be open and want to bond with someone because you can't actually stop an attraction or a chemistry from happening even when you're in love with someone. You meet several people, but then there's one person that you meet that's not your partner and you're like, oh yeah, there's something here. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe they explore that without sex or they explore that without, maybe there's boundaries in that and how they explore that. Um, that doesn't sound distasteful to me, personally. Um, but I don't know the details of that. However, all I can say is that Augustina, it was clearly in love with Jada. Yeah. And for you to be clearly in love, then you've had experiences and you've had moments to be able to bond. Even um, the being in love is being questioned by our Twitter morale police now because they're saying August is way younger um, or was way younger when he had the thing he had with um, Jada. Well, he wasn't a child. Yeah, he wasn't a child, but power dynamics and saying he mm. was also in a at a terrible place he's still at a terrible place anyway because mm. he has a lot he's dealing with Health from taking wise. care of um his um um, ne nephews, nephews and nieces, and, nieces. and becoming their parents and his health and all he has a lot battling and they're saying um, he was in a place where he could be coerced mm. to think that it is love and it's actually not love uh, so that's, that's another really, conversation i feel like that's a messing on his plate if he was a child i would understand that conversation but i think that's an insult to an adult like just because you're younger than the person that you're dating mm -hmm. doesn't necessarily mean that um you are coerced or because then you could say the same thing for relationships that like, the other way like change the sexes mm -hmm. right so if it was a guy for for all the women who are maybe 25 and their husbands or partners are 36 mm -hmm. does that mean that they're also in a play i don't mm -hmm. i don't know i don't know i think the love could be sweeter because he really needs it like you yeah. said and he's in a better position but i don't think he was cool but the good thing for me in this conversation is where they said that i don't know if you noticed it but when they say when jada and um will were planning on moving from marriage to become life, life partners. partners and that that just hits me somehow because yeah. i feel like we really need to start Have having con open that. conversations yep. and understand the kind of rules and boundaries and the kind of love you can actually give and receive mm. to ensure that this person yeah. can actually be your yeah life partner if that's yeah. what you're going for because the, the idea of marriage just marriage now doesn't it's really not so it. yeah no, it um, i would say though that i think what's really big about this controversy is also that they've denied it several times mm. on red table talk that i watch every single episode <laughs> they've said it why not swingers why not in an open relationship because swingers is that you both of you are having sexual mm -hmm. relations with the person at, at the time they said they're not doing that but they also said that they were not in an open oh, relationship. relationship so somebody's lying because you get will smith gave his blessing mm -hmm. so he's not like it's not like they had an affair behind so it's an open relate that is mm -hmm. the definition of whether open or not you're having sex you're not having sex you're falling in love you're not falling in love that is an open so relationship. who's going to red table talk jada mm -hmm. mm. I really don't care um, what's going on with August Alsina and um, Jada Pinkett. What really caught my attention was Will Smith. That's a man who really loves a woman and is willing to give his all for her. Because um, according to August Alsina, it was like um, when they had that conversation, it was like if he dies right now, you would know that he has given his all to a relationship. And I think that's just super amazing. So regardless of what your spouse is doing, you just need to understand them and put your happiness first. So What is um, Will doing <clears throat> that Jada is not doing what is the special it's, it's, thing? i'm saying what because August said now i don't know what jada said, said to anyone else something. i'm talking you about this what is a man that loves someone yeah no based on how? what how? august has said what august is mean? talking about his own self that he can die for her so how does that prove that uh, will i'm talking about what will that about will allowing august that will giving the blessing to august is that what you're saying that it's do you know what will said to august did you read up to that what part? did he say okay, what did he say all right cool so he said that if he dies right now, he would know that he has given his all to a relationship. August, August said, said that. that. 
Okay. If it was August who said that, then maybe my bad. Then. Yeah, it was August yeah, who August said that. Huh. I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm, the bans on social media is quite interesting. And mm. what made me also understand, I mean, some people just wake up to tweet things that are not true. But there's a particular tweet I saw where someone was saying that um, she used to work in a hotel where they um, lodge at some point. Um, Jada lodged in a separate room. We uh, um, lodged in a separate room and they had the same escort. We all know what escort is um, to come and take care of them for the night. Different so times. It's, at the same night, and they had different escorts right. from diff the same escort company. Mm. So they understand what they are into. And as far as I'm concerned, once there's an understanding mm. and you understand what you want and mm. what you want for your partner, I think everybody can just stop talking and mind their own yeah. business. My I question is, why is August talking about this on an interview? Yeah. I don't know. Well, he, he talked about it very tastefully, though, to be honest. I like the way he talked. I wish, you know, I'd have been a lot more angry. Or like, it would have been a lot more interesting if he was like, yes, they're lying. And he talked mm. about it like some passion. And he denied, it, and he denied it for a lot of years until he's saying that, okay, he can't, he admire, he appreciates I'm, what I'm he sure, has. I'm sure, sure, yeah, I'm sure mm -hmm. um, he didn't. It's probably not in love. It's just mm -hmm. a difference between being in love and appreciating what you had with somebody. Okay, he was in love. He appreciated what he had with her, and maybe that guy was someone I was to back. die for someone. It's not in love. <laughs> it doesn't have to be in love for you to. But you were just to going to give the somebody. same compliments to Will Smith. Yeah, but because Will Smith to... is the husband for you to give your wife out like that. So yes, of she's course. She's also giving the husband out. Exactly. So it's understanding in a relationship that really counts. And, and that's what so big. And has... I absolutely think that a lot of people should just mind their business and just let these people live their happy lives, man. And then what, before we mind our business, though, <laughs> while you are in their business, I think it's something that you should emulate. I'm not and saying then... that copy word for word, but the fact that you can have such an open relationship that transcends the box that marriage keeps you in. So anything mm -hmm. that works for you, I don't think that worked for me, Sha. I'm not sure I haven't gotten there and I've not been married to someone for mm -hmm. that long. But whatever it is that, that you long. can... Um, well, I have not been married <laughs> and I haven't been with anyone for that long and I haven't had kids with them. But it's good to be able to have that conversation where you can change the norms and like, okay, this norm doesn't genuinely work for me. Mm. And they're still together because I think adding, adding um, what's it called? Um, uh, uh, what's his name? Help me. August. August. Um, chat into what I've learned about them. There was a period where they were going to divorce themselves and mm. it was really bad. Like, they so talked, transition she cried for every day. So I feel like that's probably the breaking point for them. There was either a divorce or we actually open it up. opened this relationship mm. up and it's worked for them and they have a beautiful family. So, yeah. and the good thing about open relationships.